Hi. Hey. Oh, yeah, here it goes again. It's on loop. It's Guys, we are block. so sorry. We're so late. This sucks. We have been having technical difficulties all afternoon. We've been way more prepared lately because we've had a policy of making sure that our setup works before we start streaming. Mm -hmm. But that didn't happen today because we had a power surge last night, and my entire studio is in disarray right now. Um, we managed to track it down to a video routing issue. We have we have encoders that go from our local switches into the TriCaster machine, which is the, what you're watching now. It's how we do all these picture-in-picture -picture displays and all that stuff. And so we were trying to get vid a video out from my computer. Computer's using a switch, and the switch was not working. So we are we're down a, a couple of outputs and things like that, and I don't have a second monitor to work on, but oh, boo-hoo. You know, we're gonna make it work. The show must go on. It must. So let's uh let's meet. Let's have our let's have our meeting. Uh let's meet about Hey, pull up twitch.tv slash mint potion so you can see the chat. I wanna talk to people and see their ideas while we're meeting. Oh my ah, big fat make it baby. So on it. Please. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bark an order at my you. My big fat it's baby. Okay. Tower, <laughs> baby. Oh gosh, guys, man, today, oh Hi, crap. Hi, Paradoxogen. Hi, Took. Hi, I just wanted Dragon to see, uh, Master uh, who's around. Garion. Garion's Dragon here? Master. Who's here? Hi. Who's around? Holla. Where can I s be seen? Oh, I'm gonna sit over here. That's cool. Oh, Lord Almighty. Oh, make that money. This day, I swear. Can you pop out the chat? And then increase the, the, the size, the font size. How do you do that? Uh, uh, it's the gear near the bottom. Yeah. Pop out chat. Get that new uh, HP gamer laptop, son. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, now can you go up to the corner and make the text size bigger? Kapow. So I can read it. Sounded like a rock. I can kind of read it. I saw Dogen said something. How do you do that? It's in the corner of the browser. Do it. Just do it. I can do this. <laughs> I can do it it's all night long. Oh, this is Safari. Here, F this. How do you... What's I the key this. command to... Uh, what? To increase your font size in Safari. Uh, command plus. Command plus. Pop out. All right. Command plus. Plus, 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 plus. All right. Now we got extra big chat. The extra big ass chat. Big, big ass fries. Big ass chat. Uh, Doug and Ass, did you guys just start? Or at yeah, three. we just started. We were extra, we extra did. late because we were completely screwed on the video routing setup. Uh, I am taking full responsibility for this because I tried to incorporate a new piece of gear that I thought worked perfectly because it was working on all my... Nice, Matt. That was disgusting. Nice. Go get a mic if you're going to be in this room. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> go get a mic and <laughs> meet yeah, with us. Bring back some matches, there. dude. That was Crop ridiculous. dusting me on the way out. <laughs> F you. Um, uh, you. Yeah, so I'm taking full responsibility for this one, and if anybody's pissed at us for being late, sorry, be pissed no. at me and not my crew, because these guys were scrambling and doing their absolute best to get us on the air with my new weird setup. Like, nobody really understands what's going on in my studio, because it's just a, a freaking spider web of, of just ridiculous cables going everywhere, and I've got like eight monitors in various places, and each one has a purpose. It's got to be like, well, this one's just for the courtesy monitor, and this one is the... Oh, God, it sucks. But the fact is, I tried to incorporate a new piece of gear and a new switcher to, to get everything out. It worked perfectly in my room, but the signal is not making it to the final final encoder. Right. So we're going to have to troubleshoot that in the next couple of days because I have all these computers in my room that I want to get the signal out of. And mm -hmm. doing what we're doing now is we're doing a screen scrape that goes over the network, and then it works fine. It's just that it's really low frame rate, and it tends to drop out occasionally. Sometimes there's mic issues where it picks up the, the microphone in my room, even though I tell it not to. Like, it'll flicker out and then reinitialize, and it's like, mic is on. Hey. 
It has a mind of its own. I, I figured you wanted that. You, <laughs> right. you want Mike because you're giving a presentation, right? Our Tricaster's Dude, coming got these. <laughs> so, all right, so let's check the chat. Hey, Paradoxogen's here, Dogan's here, Tuke's here. Man, we got the whole crew. Got Where's Gary at? a whole bunch of folks. The viewer list is on fire. We got Cheese Warlock. Cheese Dragon Master War 3, off. Flying Master 1324. Awesome, awesome. We got, we got, we got, he's pretty cool. Got the whole crew. Uh, Rink Ronk. Yeah. Shiro Se. So Sir I guess Garth. it was serendipitous that we had a delay because now everyone's on board and ready to go with us. And really? And we have a uh, forecast of cumulus, cumulonimbus clouds of the dankest clouds <laughs> you can imagine. Is it now? I got a smoke machine in here now. That's important. Just it's better than nothing, bolt. right? It's the Mat 350. I'm still so pissed about that fog machine. Did that ever go back? Nope. Eh. It is still here. Yeah. 30 bucks lost. We'll write it off. <laughs> Maybe I can hack it and make it work. It, the only problem is that whistle. The whistle will go, whoa, whoa, when I turn the thing on. It goes, <laughs> it's like an ear-piercing, <laughs> splitting whistle because it's the alarm for when you're low on vape juice. Mm -hmm. I wasn't low. The whole thing was filled up, Love and it was still going off as the low sm it. smoke alarm. Well, I'm going to borrow the thing on Halloween. I'm going to set it up right on my door. So when anybody knocks on the door and I open it up, it's just going to shoot them right in the face. Heck yeah. If we can jury rig it so that that, if we just take out that whistle thing, I think it's a physical thing. Like when it blows air through and it's not getting through the atomizer, it's basically like a big box vape. We should work on that on next power block. Yeah, we should. Or Matt should work on that during this power block. Uh, we need to like reach in there with a knife and like... Fixing the fog machine? Carve out the fog out the whistle. machine. That's my contribution to... Yeah, because the thing works fine. It's just like a gas. I need my Dremel. This Ooh. random outburst. The gas keeps it going, dude. The gas Where keeps all these come from? And you could pour your vape juice in there so we can... We should just buy a gallon of vape juice, pour it in there, and then I'll just be like... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm down. Because I mean, the stuff that's in there right now, it smells like a dance club because yeah. it's the typical propylene glycol this formula. This smell like <laughs> strawberries and coconut. Right, and that would that would allow me to work and also get a buzz. Uh, Perfect. Yeah. You die of nicotine poisoning, and I mean, the show would be over. Well, we, we carry on. In your I honor. should bring in my volcano, which is not for illicit drugs at all. It's for um, medicinal herbal medicinal herbal therapies. Therapies. Yeah. You can no, you can seriously put like chamomile in there, yeah, or yeah, like yeah. oregano. Chamomile vapor. And it's like it's like inhaling a Greek salad. It's it's really nice. This minus meeting is amazing. Minus the fetish. Uh, meeting adjourned. <laughs> minus all right. Good job, uh, <laughs> so. Welcome to Power Block. This yeah. is where we make stuff, as you can, uh, as you heard from the the opening theme. I wanted to punch in on the opening thing where it says "Admit and Potion." We fix things. I like, mean, just kind of mute it for a second. Fix the thing or that break. a lot of people don't see when when people do how it work how it works shows or even like a cooking show, a traditional cooking show on the Food Network. Mm. You don't see them unclogging the freaking mixer thing and like, oh, this garlic press has junk in it, man. Man, I put this through the dishwasher. What's going on here? And you get a toothpick. Like, we show all that stuff because that's part of the process. And it's, I'd say it's one of the most important parts of the process is fixing your shit so it works. Because nothing ever works. You go to, you sit down and make something, chances are it's not going to happen. You're going to have to fix some stuff. And that's, that's our daily experience. That's pretty much all we do around here. I mean, we make things too, but in order to sit down and make stuff, you got to fix things first. So... I like to show that entire process live because it's it's got that unedited documentary feel. Mm -hmm. You know, if we had an interactive music system where we could cue like a stinger, it's like, oh man, the cable isn't going. <laughs> what will they do next? <laughs> What's gonna happen? Man, I'm already worn out from all that stress. Cool. But the good thing is, like, we were we were tense and it was you know it was kind of a it was kind of a mess, but we still stayed together. We got it. Nobody was angry at each other. Nobody divorced. I, yeah, we just split up. We're just like, the band is gone. The company went IPO, and now we're worth five dollars. When we started out, we were at each other's throats a lot. Like all of us would just pretty much get impatient because we had a thing we were trying to do, and we weren't like working like a troop. And that doesn't happen anymore. Like I've noticed, even when we're stressed out and things aren't working, we're like, "Don't worry, I got this. I got your back." Like, I'm the bitchiest one by far, but I'm still trying to make inroads into into being just more level-headed during, you know, during stressful times. You are a lot better, I will say, the last month. Yeah, I've been trying. two months. I wonder what changed. Well, <laughs> I started, I started, honestly, I started doing real talk. I started doing cognitive behavioral therapy again, and that really does help. Like, 
legit. It's like an antidepressant in in mimetic form. It's like a it's like a virtual antidepressant. It, you convince yourself that things are okay. Things are all right. Oh, you know, how you can always share? point at things. You can always come up with a list of all kinds of fucked up things that are happening that are that are going bad. And if you dwell on those, you're gonna get you're gonna get messed up. I want to share our Trello board. Do I just copy the link since yes. it's public? Yep. You guys, check out all this garbage we have to deal with that we just kind of chip away at constantly. It's pretty fantastic. I yeah, just, uh, the Trello board should be public, and we should actually have a link to it in in the Twitch uh, headers. I you know, the, that those too. images, because I, I want people to to see what we're working on and actually be able to, you know, track when something's done along with us. Let's see what I'm working on. It removes expectations. It makes it so that you never have to answer, hey, when is this going to happen? You can see right on the Trello w the progress that we're making on every task. And we have nothing to hide uh, as far as our public stuff. Anything that we put up here is public knowledge. You can talk, talk about it, tweet about it. It doesn't matter. Get hyped. The only stuff that we're not going to show um, on the Trello is stuff that falls under an NDA where we can't, we can't show you guys because it's, you know, it's a work for hire for a client. And the client has said, we don't want this public yet. But I don't think we have any clients right now that are not okay with us streaming. I mean, that's one of the things that kind of, that, that's part of our, uh, you know, our appeal, part of our thing. Yeah. Is bringing, bringing a weird audience to our process. I think that is going to get somewhere pretty, pretty good pretty soon. I'm just struck by the degree to which our clients and, our, and, our, and the people that we're working with are, are on board with this idea, and they're okay with the idea of us showing stuff in progress while it's being worked on. Because that's, uh, that's more educational than anything, because not only am I, I, I'm, I, when I'm writing music in there for a project, I'm not doing it to, to, to do a show, to be demonstrative. I'm not trying to, like, you know, give you an entertaining look into the, I'm trying to do my job. Like, I'm trying to get work done. And I think that's more, more helpful than coming up with something to make that's just for the show. So I like the idea of us just constantly showing what we're working on. This image is huge. We just have to be careful. Like, like I'm scoring a cartoon right now, and it's a primetime cartoon that's going to air on TV. And it's, uh, it's unannounced right now. But after it's announced, they said they're cool with us streaming it. But we can't show the actual episode. We can't show the footage from the show or the voices or anything like that. There's none of that stuff on here, is it? On where? On Trello. Bite Master uh, is not. I hope not. <laughs> I'm looking right now. <laughs> yeah, scan it to make sure. <laughs> That'd be graceful. Uh, no. Yeah, I think we're good. I'll take the fall if uh, if we get in trouble for that. They've pretty much already said it's. It's not like that big of a secret. It's kind of already announced, but not really officially announced. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying cage match. Yeah. Cage match. Yeah, we're fine. We're using Bite Master as the code word for our for our TV show. And it's not even related to what it actually is, so don't don't even try to figure it out. And if you guess correctly, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna even acknowledge it. Neither confirm nor deny. Confirm. I don't want to be that one composer who it's like you know Destructoid does an article like, oh, composer of this game says there's a sequel. Oh God, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, uh, Matt, why? <laughs> and then the guy's already done the work, so he's not. It's not like he's gonna get fired, but they're not gonna hire him again because he's just spilled everything. Like, that's I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> the description of this panel became ridiculous very quickly. Excellent. <laughs> Which? Oh, I just added a. I added a panel for our Trello. Nice. And um, it says we're making things. There are also other things that we're not working on. <laughs> nice. You know, because I'm trying to pay attention. And my fingers just kind of do their job. How do you add stickers again? You don't. I don't know. I think it's a like a plugin. No. Yeah. Oh, we have our we have stickers that you can put on here. Oh man, I want stickers. Is this supposed uh, to be the currently working on sticker? I forgot how to do it. Uh, I I don't remember. There's like a, oh. if you, in the top right, I know what it is. Yeah, I stickers, it. something like that. Uh, add cards, add what are we working on today? Okay, so yeah, let's get on task. Let's, yeah. uh, let's have our meeting. We're going to talk about small window. Yeah. Whoa. Who are our guests tomorrow? I don't know. One them. of them is Christina V. Yeah. Y'all know who Christina V is, right? You better, if not, just Google her. Christina, C-R-I-S-T-I-N-A-V-E-E. -E. Like the letter V spelled out, V-E-E. -E. And she's 
all over the voice acting world. She's one of the one of the go to A lister voice actors working in games and, and, and anime and like she's all over the place. She's incredibly successful and yeah. uh amazingly talented. She's one of those voices that I mean, like sometimes it, it almost gets to Nolan North proportions where she's like in everything but you like it because she does a good job, you know? I'm 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 not on the Nolan North hate brigade. I actually like how he sounds and I'm okay with him being the voice of God essentially. He's in everything. Oh my goodness. This and woman is and Christina is just all over the place. And so I get to hear her beautiful voice in so many different things. She's Watch Sailor, Sailor Moon. She is Sailor Mars in the in, new Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon. That's, That's crazy. Cool. She was also Cat Girl and Cat Girl without salad. Yeah. Uh, she's also the voice of Shantae and Shantae Hero. If you listen to Dance Through the Danger, the uh, the, uh, the flagship song from from Shantae Half Genie Hero, uh, she's singing it and she's also the voice of Shantae. She's she's all over everything and it's it's beautiful. I love that woman. Yeah, she does like mm-hmm. ten games here. Yeah, let's do it. There's no reason we couldn't. Who cares? We're gonna get Snoop Dogg up in here at some point. We're gonna get all the legends in this in this room. We can get the living legends. Fuck even the dead ones. I don't care. No, I mean like drag them up in the, the Halloween. <laughs> the rap group. The late great Thurl Ravenscroft, and he just like vroom, kind of appears space ghost style. He still lives on in my heart. Who's our other guest? Alex Alexander Mashikian, son of Mashik. He's and a buddy of mine. He's a local artist. What's his What's his What's his forte? He's an actor. He's a singer. Mm. Um, I've played like guitar with him in high school, but he had a ska band for a long time. That was pretty good. Yeah. Um, and he does this show in town. Have you heard of the Big Bad Armo show? No. Well, uh-huh. you will. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's all I'm going to say about that. But he's a he's a way cool dude. Uh, he went through um, Groundlings, uh, the their comedy writing program mm-hmm. out here. Mm-hmm. Um, so he actually did, I think, maybe all of their classes. He'll say, he'll say more about it. But those of you who are looking to get into writing for television, like comedy, um, there are basically two schools for that in the country. There's Groundlings and there's, I think it's UCB. It's the other one. Um, so we have a, you know, he's part of that tradition. Nice. And uh, I think it'll be way interesting for people out here who are going to, you know, who are interested in kind of how that side of the industry works in terms of comedy writing specifically and getting up into the level of people who get cast for SNL, people who get cast for big shows. Yeah. Uh, I mean, one of the focuses that we're trying to emphasize here, mm-hmm. and we haven't really had time to delve into this and really explore it yet, is we want to do a ton of comedy writing. We want to do skits. We want to do fake commercials like, you know, Mr. Show style or, you know, after SNL, after the uh, after the intro, how they go to a commercial, but it's not for a real product. It's like a comedy commercial. Taco Town. Yeah, Taco Town. We want to do stuff like that. Um, but we've been so busy just trying to get the show up and running technically, get the production values hopping, like, we're hoping to evolve our show into into a live comedy experience that also has tape segments, and it's uh, we want to make people laugh as much as they learn. What I think is crazy about it is how much we're fixing as we go. Like, I'm glad we didn't wait for longer to really launch. I know people have been watching our test streams for yeah. most of the year now. We started doing that, I think, in May? Before I believe so, yeah. yeah. Um, we were doing internal test streams. We did ones that were not that were not streamed at all, uh, that were just recorded, and then we go back and you know take notes and see what we did wrong. But now we're doing that, but we have the audience. So it really helps. I appreciate everyone being here today. Yeah, I just want to take a moment to to uh, express my gratitude at uh, towards people who are who are our patrons and and our in our Discord and just supporting us. Like we have nine patrons. There must be a new one. I'm ah, confused. Is there a new one? Possibly. Let's have a look at the board. I like the fact that, you know, of course I wish we were making a million dollars, but the fact that we're making a little bit of money, um, and that we have people that are that are that believe in us, who believe in us and are and are actually taking part in the process, like to me that's more special than just getting a bunch of cash from somewhere. It's 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 much it's much more personal when you when you have people that are you know, friends of yours. And and new friends that that become your friends because they hang around because they're you know 
part of the part of the whole thing. It's like having an extended crew. So we're gonna put you guys to work in the future. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna put up a wiki. We're gonna put up all kinds of game servers and have you guys play in there and you know make worlds with us. And most importantly, we'll have credits after every single show. That's one of the next things we're gonna work on is is a credit roll, so that we can say thanks every single episode to to everyone who's helping to make this possible. I would love that credit roll, like Ravi and I are joking about this. I would love that thing to be like ten minutes long. Yeah. You're just like <laughs> just throw throw the roll like during the end of the show. It's like super high speed. I want it to to be like an Ubisoft game. Right. Forget it. Like let's just have like twenty minutes of credits, you know. To the point where you gotta loop the song. That's all right, Garion. I appreciate your thing. Dogan is up in there. Garion, you are already doing so much to help us just by being around and just contributing ideas and just bouncing stuff off of us. I see you. Like, I am so super happy to have you guys around. It's that community, like, all right, so I, I spent my, all, my entire teenage years and all my 20s on IRC, just in a community, on, on OC Remix, on various forums, on like, you know, on VG Mix after that. Like, I've always had a community around me. And it's not my community, I'm just part of it. And I feel like I want that to happen again because it's been too long that I've just been kind of in an apartment doing, or now in a studio, just churning out music and not really being involved in the scene. Like, every now and then we'll do something in the community, like we'll do an OC Remix project, like the Impresario or something like that. Mm. Um, but I feel like there's been a lot missing from my community life lately. and that, that's one of the things that kept me hyped throughout my 20s was just having people to bounce stuff off of and to go to excitedly with news that maybe the mainstream, I don't know, Twitter sphere or whatever may not care about it. It's like, oh, Jake's just ranting again. But the people that are in the chat room, you know, the various chat communities and forums and stuff, they like to hear about that stuff and we share stuff back and forth. So it's less like people are following me and I'm giving announcements and more like, Hey, just going to chill with the guys and you know say what's up. Hey, I've this had a cool lot thing of fun is happening out on Discord with those guys lately. It's yeah, been really cool. Showing just like new art and kind of sharing inspiration and stuff. The other day, last night we were talking about <clears throat> rail shooters. Just like there's this uh, just disturbingly long conversation where I was just like, "How did you know my weakness?" And I talked about every rail shooter. That was great. Yeah. What I found out: a lot of people don't know about Yoshi Safari on the Super Nintendo. Which is like a masterwork of a rail shooter because it's it like is a jumping. great game. Yeah. Yoshi Safari. Super we scope. should play that on the stream at some point. I'd love to. How do we emulate a super scope? Can we do it with like a Wii remote or something? But it works with the mouse in in SNES 9X or ZSNES. Like right. you can just click on stuff. But I'm wondering if you can do it with a Wii mote. It's possible. I mean, I know for sure you can. I just don't know how. I don't know either. Because the Wiimote has, there there are dr drivers for the Wiimote that you can use as a positional pointing device, so right. for sure you can make it work. I just don't know if there's a solution built already that supports it. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's ask our amazing audience. We have a lot of emulator heads in the crowd. That's true. What I mean, if nothing else, we can just hit up Boosh and say, hey, we want a, we want a super scope. And he'll be like, oh, here's how you do that. <laughs> I'll build a super scope. Yeah, whatever. It's done already. I just wrote like four lines of assembly code. Here you go. Um... Yeah, mouse is definitely the, the, the preferred method of emulating stuff like that for now. <laughs> yeah, we should get we should get we should get our own light gun game going with uh with the Vive. Doesn't that look fun? Yeah. Just Got little little up. parlor games and things like that. I don't wanna make some like we're already working with uh with Zero Transform, who's making Vanguard V, which is a rail shooter. Yeah. In the in the grandest tradition of Star Fox, it's this gorgeous, expansive. You're in space and you go into planets and fly through waterfalls and stuff. Like, there's no way we could do something that that ambitious with you know, <clears throat> without it being our full time job. But we could certainly make a shooting gallery. Well, I mean, that's where the question came from. That's where the conversation started. He was looking for references, and I was like, <laughs> Yeah. Let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, Justin's a cool cat. Yeah. We gotta we gotta reconnect with that guy and 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 start working on new ren with him. I ag I agree. He's been there the whole time and he's been a huge huge supporter. But like we we have to actually we have to work on Vanguard and we gotta get him on new ren. We gotta we gotta get the family back together. That's what I'm feeling lately. I guess that's what I'm trying to say, in a long-winded kind of way. Is like 
I want I want to build that family back up where it's us in 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 the studio and then we have an extended family who's in the chat room with us all the time like any one of these fools would be totally welcome to come visit us at any time just chill with us you know oh. like we want real life friends that are yeah I mean we should do a lot of a lot more stuff that integrates our audience because we want to grow it but we want to keep it personal and that's a that's a challenge for you know if you get really popular you're gonna get a lot of people you don't know and that kind of like you know make demands in the stream like oh do this do that you know just calling out stuff and so as we've grown as we've gotten more and more viewers you know very slowly but steadily yeah, I, I haven't found that happening at all people are still chill as hell like it's really really nice to, to, to be working with the with the audience on stuff so is there it's it's just like being in a chat room it's just there's a video feed on one end anyway but yeah nice popcorn there's two kinds of offices. The office where you can make popcorn and nobody's gonna be like, ooh, gross. And the whole office smells like popcorn now. And then there's ones where you can't do that. I never wanna work in one where you can't. You know? It's one of the it's one of the necessities of life. Especially when you do something filled with drama and entertainment. You gotta have you gotta bust out the bust out the Kirkland brand signature popcorn. Scent and chips. All right, so let's get this let's get this meeting going. Let's uh, let's plan what we're gonna do today. All right. Oh, man. Well, what do you want? Should we we should run the show later since we started later? Sure. Because I want to get through a bunch of this stuff. Okay. What are you doing? I'm doing. Um, up next transitions for the shows we do. Nice. So in between setups on like our music shows, on Tuesdays. There's sometimes there's a 10 minute gap of us, you know, moving microphones, getting one talent out, moving another talent in. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to have a little talent. motion graphic that tells you what the upcoming show is. Cool. So I'm going to be working on that. Boom. What are you working on, Jake? New Ren. All right. Wait, where are the claps? No one's back there to hit the claps. No one's back there. No one's driving. So I took melatonin last night. Oh my god, me too. <laughs> and I was talking to my girlfriend in text, and I got weirder and weirder. I was like, man, dreams are probably like, you know, some like the simulation overlords are like just playing back badly made, unfaithful fan remixes of our life. And that's why dreams are just kind of weird. It's like some actual alternate reality or something. And so I just, I went places, and then I fell asleep on my couch, and, uh, and I woke up and there's just vivid music playing in my head. And this happens sometimes. And usually it happens for something that I, it's like the, the song that I had in my head was not for the thing that I have to work on. So I have to go to the studio at like three in the morning and freaking track it down mm -hmm. because I'm not gonna have time during my day job. Right. And it has to get out. It's, it's too good an idea to not write down. The nice thing about this place is this is my day job. So I get to make stuff for whatever I dream up, it fits into our schedule. It's like this is, it's for a thing that we that we got to do. Right. So I have a whole chord progression, melody, and rhythmic ideas, a whole song, including verses and choruses and and lead ups and stuff. All I have to do is get it out from my head into the sequencer, and that's easier said than done because there's a lot of layers and textures going on, and I got to make sure to get everything just to get it exactly how it sounds in my head. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, that is where the skill in music comes in so if you can hear stuff in your head you just need to learn how to get it out to, to how to transcribe it how to hear okay this is a c major chord i'm gonna make this you know and and to know how to translate stuff from brain ease into out, output jack into mm -hmm. the into your music tool mm -hmm. and the same thing is true for art you see something in your head you try to draw it i can't do that i have no visual imagination whatsoever oh my God. unless it's tied to sound Mm. So that's why we're making a rock opera, because the music conjures all kinds of imagery. But I can't think of like concept art. I could never be a concept artist because unless I have specific music or you know a theme to go off of, I can't visualize stuff. Right. But I could sure think of the sounds. So that's that's what I did last night was come up with the song in my sleep, and we're gonna try to not put our audience to sleep while composing it. 
I think they will stay away for you composing. Maybe. What, what else has Ben? What has Ben doing? I'm looking at my Trello cards right now. Is it cool if I make a tour poster for our favorite things, so I can print it and have it hanging in the studio? I already made mine. Yeah, Why I not? made yours, but I didn't finish mine. Nobody else made theirs. I'm working on it. It's actually on that computer out there. Like I'm halfway through that project. That'd be kind of fun to do today. Wait, what is this? What is all this? When What's all this, then? When we first opened the place, I had an idea that everybody come up with three games that they either or three games they really liked, one of them they had to work on, and you make like, um, like a '70s um, band poster, like a band touring poster. Let's see if I can find. I like mine. it. My I like the stuff. idea. I'll show you mine. I'll uh, I'll bring it up. Bring yours up. Wait, wait, hold on. Don't bring mine up yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do it when you're ready. Uh, let's close this real fast. Anyways, while we're bringing that up, Matt, what are you working on today? I am going to be finishing up the last week on Small Window Ooh. trailer. Yeah, you guys liked that last time? You liked the last week on Small Window. Yeah. That thing was the so cool. On that one. Sweet. I didn't see that from beginning to end. I, I was I had no part in creating that, and I'm so happy that I didn't, because Matt did an amazing job. Thanks, Jake. And it just it, it, it gets my confidence up when I see people around me doing stuff that's better than I could have done. Like, that's what gets me hyped. So I like working with, with Yacht Club, because they do their job so freaking well. I could never design levels as well as a herbster, you know? Watching experts at work and being able to contribute your own expertise to, to theirs is it's really cool. Yeah, yeah herbster's got skills. Yeah. The guy is high is that, we're good. that looks so cool. Southern so, California, 1997. Washington, D.C., 2008. This so, do you see really the, the Who poster we have out there? Yeah. It emulates the Who poster. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Wasteland has an E in it. Well, it doesn't say it's finished. Cool. <laughs> Wasteland. <laughs> Last land, man. My specialty is proofreading. <laughs> I am OCD <laughs> and pedantic, as you may well have surmised by now. There's that one. Red Rocket. I love that the place you find the dog is called Red Rocket. Anyone who's had a dog knows why that's funny. That's <laughs> disturbing is what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who's watched South Park knows why that's disturbing. Indeed. I, I kind of look like a Red Rocket right now. <laughs> I'm a dog boner. King of Red Lions. <laughs> I love the King of Red Lions. <laughs> Darunia. Very nice. Nice. Get all the all the big names. The Quests of Link Tour. It's kind of weird. I'm just wondering what Ganon's up to. Excuse me. Huh? Squadala. Look up all the games that the Zelda games ever made. Yeah, there's two of those I haven't played. Which oh. one? No, uh, Triforce Heroes. I am. Ooh. I'm actually animation. halfway through Minish Cup. I actually started playing that. Why are Faces of Evil and, and Skyward Sword? I haven't played Gamelon. Gamelon. Did you play uh, oh. Link's Awakening? Yeah. Oh, it's my favorite. Yeah. Why are the CDI ones not on there? <laughs> Don't count, dude. Come on. They were made by Nintendo. Gamelon. Oh, yeah? Talk to the His and. That's I would love to stream you playing that game. I would do it. As a matter of fact, that's actually we a good got a idea. CDI we emulator. We, d we got a CDI em emulator at my dude Dan's house, and uh, and we played through both of the games. We got to get a native CDI. They are really as bad as everyone says. I mean, they are almost unplayable. Like the control is so bad. Dude, we had a Robbie. blast. Because <laughs> there's way more cutscenes than the than, than than the meme videos would have you believe. There's, mm -hmm. there's a whole bunch of stuff in there, and it's all amazing. It's all, like, how did this get approved? How did this get made? There's so such a weird echo chamber happening in in, in these early '90s dev studios. Ravi, you gotta play okay. this video. They had no that oversight. That Paradox didn't link to. He did like a bunch of smashed motion videos. They're like it's motion graphics type stuff. They're actually pretty cool. What do I have to do? I sent you a text message with a link to this Dropbox video. Why don't you just link on and play it from your computer? You're right there. Uh, uh, you could play it directly on the stream. Yeah. I well, yeah, right there. That, that's uh, actually, it's gonna be better. Maybe. Let's try it. I don't know. I think it looks cool. I'm gonna do it. the obvious. Man. <laughs> Why is this? Man, I love popcorn. There we go. 
So yeah, guys, yeah, if, you're, uh, if you're wondering, with our guests on Thursday, we're opening up questions to the audience. Movies. This is the first time Stupid. you get to ask Christina V questions without having to go to Anime Expo and wait in a 10-hour line. So, from the comfort of your own home, you can get these questions answered. Heck yeah. Ooh. Having, having our own friends. anime. If you guys want to retweet what's going to be happening, well, well, feel free. Well, yeah, if anyone well, wants to help you, help us get the word out, here. we are... Uh, <laughs> One of our That's, uh, one of our biggest things to work on right now is messaging. We have to work right, on social media. The video. We need to have like, I think we should have an intern that just that just one of their jobs is just to get on social media and tweet. We got an application. I'm gonna show you real fast. Consistently, yeah, yeah. We got new applications coming in. Mm -hmm. uh, so we we put out we 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 had the um, the director of the video program at at the uh, at the local college. Mm -hmm. College of the Canyons. College of the Canyons. Come out here and see the place and talk to us. So how do you talk like to it? Robbie because I, I was for sleeping. How do you like it? He, he was the place. over the moon. He he's to move super in. happy. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. He's a game industry veteran himself, so he's just like, this is like a dream place. You know, this is like. I wish you know. I'd been there for this. I want to see because because it's like most people come in here and they're, and they're, they're, in their mind what this place is is like not even like a fraction of what it actually is. Like they don't realize yep. how well equipped we are. Well, we gave him a pregame speech. We, we had a Skype meeting and we told him all about it. And I was just gushing manically like I do. And uh, and he was like super hyped and he came down and saw everything. So he knew coming in what it was. Yeah. Um, but the end result is he pushed through our application to get interns like immediately. So he's going to handpick him too. He's going to go and find yeah. the people that he thinks will be perfect for the place. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to have him. He's going to show up, I guarantee you, probably once or twice a month. Yeah. Maybe we'll have him on one of these shows. I'd love to because somebody of. I want to have as many teachers as possible on this show because, like, not only just the knowledge that they have, but the way they know how to present it is uh, is something I've never gone to school to for education. I've never, you know, m both my parents are teachers, but um, I never really studied how effectively to to teach stuff. So, learning that from a master, you know, literally somebody with a master's degree, master, yeah, or or above, you know. Is is very eye opening. It's like watching a, a motion graphics person work. Like when Mountain Dew was here, I was learning so much from him just watching him do his thing. Mm -hmm. So, um, oh. I don't remember the company that he worked at, but he did 3D modeling and animation and stuff. And it was a game I had recognized. I just don't remember it offhand. But yeah, I want to have teachers coming up in here and helping us spread the message. Spread Get people enthused. Love. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. All right, so we have our we have our tasks for today. We know what we're gonna work on. Cool. Ben, yeah. can you put that video? I tried. It's an MP4. It's not gonna just stream onto the tracking screen. It didn't work. Shame. Okay. Sorry. But well, it looks cool. It's in the chat again and again. Let's get started. I would play it on my machine. It's just that net. You can see the screensaver going at like two frames a second. That's why we gotta get off net, because that is not acceptable for. Oh, wait. Anything in real time. You it's okay for sequencing, idea. you know, for Ableton. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's not supposed to be running at four frames a second. Maybe there's something we've done wrong. <laughs> like you just made something. Sequencing. Net is we designed. Never wrong. Just, uh, net is designed yeah, to do yeah. like oh, business presentations okay. and powerpoints yeah, and stuff. It's not designed as a high frame rate screen cap. It's weird. So, so How many different nothing? gaming systems out there that are like really fast over the land. Yeah. Well, well, what we could do is get. Uh, OBS setup and have an RTMP stream coming out of each of our machines. And that would work over LAN. That would work over net. You connect to it the same way as you do over IVGA. Okay. You point it at the IP of the computer or the host name on the network, and it should just take it. Because it's a standard RTMP stream. Yeah. It's just the screen cap is not happening it's fast because computer. they want to keep it low CPU. Ah. Right. So it's not it's not a high frame rate. The Porsche Raycast is probably already stripped out of the CPU. You hear it in there. <laughs> Like a leaf but yeah we have we have a really stable hardware setup other than our weird switching stuff we have so many devices like hdmi devices that we have to get into 12 inputs in the in the hub yeah. they're all maxed out we got tw all 12 are in use so yeah we need to we need to sort out our our room based output boy uh what a cluster a cluster screw so are we ready to go? Want to kick some ass? Take some names. That's Matt. Yeah. You're Jake. I'm thinking. I'm, I'm getting hyped. All right. Let me go into my cave. Let's make this happen. Cool. Let's make products. 
We make stuff. We make stuff. I'm gonna make some stuff. Something kind of random. Wait, first. It's up. I gotta get my soda. Don't forget your soda, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's log into Robbie's computer and see what's up there. Coming up next, Rockstar Academy. It's perfect. Sorry, coming in mid chew. Um, it's delicious. solid layer, solid shape layer, okay. and it's blue. Oh, let me show you. Let's turn this one off. Let's go over here. All right, so I made a solid layer, and I put on this universe fractional background. Yeah. So you can sit there and scale it, adjust the motion. Yeah. To make you look way better. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the font for coming up next because I don't like it. Ben, if Ben can tell me what font he used for the Rockstar Academy, I'd like to match it. But let me see if I have it. Hold on. Burp, a burp, 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 burp. Yeah. So the idea is after every single show, for the next one, have something like this pop up. A little bit, a little bit classier than the other kinds of crap we've been doing. So then I made another shape layer. Huh? Leaps, sweeps, and the creeps. What? That background thing you have there, loop. Cool. So it's looping right now. Um, Rockstar Academy. I feel like I converted the text. Like, they're not actually what you think they are. Oh, wait, maybe they are what you think they are. Let's go into the type mode. Let's have a look at what the... Uh, you would not believe. This, there's no way this is correct. Hold on a sec. What? What the font is? Yeah, this. It's, you know what? It's impact. What? No, it's not. Is it really? It is. It's impact, except the uh, stroke type on it is kind of strange. So stroke. that they interrupt each other. Let's see. Let's see. Um, do you want me to send you a specific text? I can just send you some text. Oh, if it's impact. Yeah. I can just do it myself. I mean, I like where your head's at. But I did do some weird stuff to it. Why don't you show me what you did so I can do it later for other stuff? Expand my belt. Ooh. Let me help me color up my belt. Color up your belt. I am for an official mint potion moratorium on the impact font. Yes? Yeah, I'm done. I mean, I just did something weird to it, so that the, the, you'll see. Let me, let, me, let me speed up your process a little bit. I know all these cats watching want cheeseburger, but... Cheeseburger. It's the meme font. It's ev yeah, it's yeah. like the standard font that you have in white and outline in black, and it's over meme images. That boy said cheeseburger. Yeah. I did. I can has cheeseburger. <laughs> can you though? Oh wait a minute. No, I actually. It looks like I looks like I didn't. It looks like I didn't use impact. Sorry, it's a lie. Would you use? It looks like I rasterized the text, or sorry, I, I converted the text from from his image into a vector. So I have no idea what font it is. Well then, let's just make another font. Wait, what? What? No, it's it's it is a weird version of Impact, apparently. Sorry. Looks like it is. Cool. Um, but yeah, it's you know white, 
The stroke size is like two or something ridiculous like that. It's gray. Um, I also think there's some sort of style. Unless the vectors for impact are just pointy like that. I don't think they are. Might be. Anyway. That is the... That is the key. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself, stream. The music for this stream is always so weird. Alright, that's fun. Who are all these people? Hey, nice dings, stream. That looks good. Getting dings? You got it, Eva Garian. Believe in yourself. Anonymous Pro is the typeface I use for debugging. <laughs> it's true. So should I do the unexciting Photoshop life? I think you should. Yeah, I think you're right. <coughs> It'll be fun for everybody. Ooh. Mm -hmm. It's one of those hot, cold days. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Oh, something just happened. What was that? This is that video that Paradoxogen sent over. Nice. I believe. But I'm going to play it on the regular size screen using my tentacles. Apparently, the <laughs> tentacles, 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 tentacles. Mm. So I'll let everyone's screen show while I show you guys this super cool thing I just got off the chat that everyone else has probably seen except for you guys. Okay, bye. Using Super Smash sound effects, we can do stuff like this. <laughs> Boom! Nice. There's more. Wait, did Paradoxogen make that? I think so, yes. Cool! Check this out. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, it's not done yet. Just, just chill, just chill. <laughs> right? Holy crap, there's so many things. I love the, the drop shadows, they're great. I think it's 3D. I don't know, keep going. What the heck is that? I don't know, you're platinum mode. We're not done yet. Oh, this is dope. What the hell? That's cool as hell. Wow! Bloop. Sergeant Major Butterfly Platinum Rainbow! Uh, yeah, the sense of proportion is fantastic in this. And I love, yeah, the color usage is great. Hey! Freaking awesome. It's France time. Or was That's that, it. Was that Netherlands time? That's a cool demonstration. I've demonstrated your demonstration. I am satisfied. That's pretty dope. Gotta say, pretty dope. Dun, dun, dun. Sorry about that. How's that typeface look? Dope. Um, turn off that spread. No, the spread, not the size. Get away from me. Huh? What? Who? What? Huh? What? What did you say, fool? Did you call me fool? Fool? Maybe. Oh, good. This is on camera. I could totally deck you out of your chair. <laughs> All right. Then they'd watch somebody die. <laughs> is, that, is that against this uh, Twitch streaming guidelines to have, like, a full-on... Like, just fight club. Are we allowed to do violence on the stream? Sure. Okay. Do we have I fights? I mean, you're allowed to shoot zombies and other humanoid type stuff. Yeah, but they're not real. Could we actually punch each other? I don't know. Like, could we do a wrestling match? Um, I think maybe if it's pudding wrestling. Like, if it's clearly funny, like, not, you know, if it's not serious. 
Can we be in speedos? I don't think we can be in speed. I don't think even dudes can be topless. Uh, that's weird. Everyone should be able to go topless. Right? I agree. Gosh. They're just boobs. We all got them. Spawn. What is this? Alright. I'm not so much of a boob man, but I do believe in the principle of having the boobs free. If you if you <laughs> wish to. <laughs> Suck my boobs to breathe. Alright, where's Photoshop? Nice, that was a crisp crunch. I like that. I gotta so eat good. my french fries. I'm always forget- I get corn dog and a fry, and I don't eat the fry. I need to eat something. Cause by the day. time I get around to it, I'm already like on another thing. I can't even remember. Dun dun. Um, uh, open recent projects. Uh, Golden Sun. Game tour. The file could not be found. That's alright. We have ways. Okay. Yeah, we we gotta get that four-way split screen going. Um, we should make I have a thing for that. I have a monitor to show. And I got music to 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 show. <laughs> All right, hold on. Okay, maybe he wants to make popcorn. Get my screen on there. Do it, do it, do it, get it, get it! You had a hard time there. Hey! I can dig it. Hang on, let me resize my shit so you can actually see the top of it. It's muted. Hey! And then turn off our sound. I know how it works. I'm just saying. He's gonna play audio and stuff. Is he? What do you need? Okay, cool. I need popcorn in my life with Old Bay seasoning. I see everyone's on top of the dings today. Sorry, I'm not working on Circle of Fifths, but this is pretty important. New Ren has got to get done. Do we have an audio feed from here? Yeah, we do. Yes, 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 we do. your volume up all the way? Let's find out. Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay, you're good. Yeah. I have a new mission. I'm gonna make the power block frame <laughs> four by four. Do it. I wanna have two monitor feeds and two cameras on power block. Cool. How does that sound to you guys? Or just four camera feeds if we have a four way chat going, like with uh, cancel or with anybody who's off site. We can Skype in two people and have two people here and switch back and forth between their screens. That'll make Power Block really interesting to watch. So you'll just be able to watch multiple people working on stuff at once instead of having one main screen. All right, so I'm gonna find a preset for this. Headphones on. Yeah. No, that won't work because I want to be able to hear you guys. No, you know what? F it. 
If you need me, wave or something. Or flash the TriCaster a bunch of times. Maybe I will. I don't know. to grab a screenshot real quick for reference. Oh, yeah. No, we don't want to go there. So you've just heard basically the building blocks of the song that I came up with. All right, so I woke up last night. I woke up this morning, like in the middle of the night, and I had this song in my head, and it was exactly as you're about to hear it go down. It was, it was, it started out with this. So let me get that down first. It's going to start. Um, it's going to have like a big industrial like rhythm section going. But uh, first, we got to get the, the tempo set correctly. It's going to be about 115 BPM. So. What I just did was tap the tempo so that I could get it close to what's in my head. I was basically tapping along with what I'm hearing. It's going to have big ass, like, uh, huge industrial, like, power drums. All right, so let's just lay something down. about how to voice this. Whoops. Oh, got to activate overdub here.
Oops. Yeah. And then I repeat that section, so I just copy-pasted. Uh, and I will make these different later, because we need to lead into the chorus. Wait, wait, wait. the little flourish in there. Whoops, not the right quantization. So what I'm doing now is laying down a second synth line here to give it a little bit of rhythm. So you can't hear the drums that are about to go in, but... Now it is time to make a 
freaking epic chorus. This sounds so basic right now. I promise it's going to get insane as soon as I start layering stuff on. So that's one of the riffs that's going to come in. Oh, that's it, that's it. All right, so let's find a better patch than that. It's a little less wow. Hey, cool, I totally screwed up my other patch because that was the wrong thing. Also not what I was looking for. This is it. Uh, I once again screwed up. There we go. <laughs> Pong delay with three on here. Feedback way down. Thank 
That's what I'm looking for. Sort of Selena-ish uh, string. Probably want to also do a MIDI pitch so that I can have this an octave up. doesn't have enough of an attack. Man, I'm lagging today. I gotta figure out, not me personally, but the that. All right, now I'm way more on. <laughs> nope, as I said that, I screw up. the lengths on these things. I gotta make this just right. There you go. I can just make all these long ones shorter, uh, wherever they may be. Now, I know what you're thinking. This sounds like Thriller, but it, it doesn't. Well, that's just the chords. Uh, there's going to be a melody going over the top that changes everything. <laughs> All right. That changed everything. Changes everything. Also, I have the wrong inversion in here, at least at first. Oops. Yeah, there we go.
See, this is an example of the voicing sounded one way in my head, but then it sounds different when I get it out. Um, mm Oh, there we go. Don't want to do that ninth there. Jesse will sing the harmonies here. That's a big John Williams chord there. It's just a, it's a pedal. The bass is not what you'd expect it to be for that particular chord, so it works nice. Let's soften this up a little bit. Sorry I'm not being too talkative. I'm trying to rapidly get this out of my head as quickly as I can before it sublimates. I think I might have had the chord phrasing wrong. Yeah. It's supposed to be syncopated here. Mm -hmm. 
I don't even wanna... Why is that not playing properly? Not one size? That's why. I'm going to go with an alternate idea for this one. Whoops.
Whoops, whoops, whoops. It's gonna be great. Yeah, yeah. And remember this, we went all the way back to here. Whoops, whoops, whoops. There we go.
to have a big drop bass drop in there. Let's actually make this a little bit less fady outy. In other words, the release envelope. I just realized I closed my browser out, so I don't even see what's going on in the chat. You guys liking this so far? It's pretty. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty uh, formative right now, but that's because the rhythm hasn't even gone in. There's no groove yet. I mean, there's kind of a groove, but. Build a drum kit. What is that sound that keeps going on the Windows machine? We're bouncing stuff.
Come on. I'm selecting drums now, but then building a kit. Let's put another kick in here to layer. in the snare because now it just sounds like a de-pitched snare drum. I need to... <laughs> Now let's gate the shit out of this. Ah uh, ha ha, that's how I like it. Reverb all the way up, and then effects. Uh, nope, master. Gotta go to the reverb section here. Change it to impulse, and change it to gated.
drag some loops over this. No, I don't want that freaking Backstreet Boy shit in here. Check this out. Slice to new track. Where is that? Slice to new mini track. I don't have to use the freaking... drum loop as it exists. I just make a new track with it. Ah, I need to, to make it 16th note. Unless... Ah, there we go. Cool, huh? It just works. I can't believe it works, but it does. So let me... Uh, get that orchestra hit sounding snare out of their hand. It's too tonal. So I think that is... Let's figure out which one it is. Eh. I think it's the tom. No, it is the snare that has that super... It's the gated. That's why. All right, let me find a different snare to replace this. That's a nice, thick one. Where is my thing? Where's my snare? There we go.
So this needs to come up because this is the base in here. But. the patch not that base bricks That's a nice one, but I need to first drop the pitch down. And then... And then take that delay off of there. That doesn't need to be in there. And I don't like that little FME kind of at the top end. You hear that sounds like a chain link rent, uh, fence rattling. So I'm going to go in here and use this to take down the brightness so that never happens again. up some strangs. Oh. Almost exactly what I was thinking of. harmony kind of fades up in here.
just shoring up the transition until it goes into that fourth there. I need a big assertive sort of coppery sounding lead. <laughs> So I'm going to have to get another breakbeat in there that, uh, hang on. I don't know if I want the tambourines a little too funky. This will work. Check this out. Oops. Wrong time division. Hey. Let's, instead of dumping even more kick drums on everything, let's cut out the, the lows. not the right rhythm for that. I'm just chopping up the loops like super heavy.
There you go. Oh, nice. I see the four-way screen up there. That's awesome. Fantastic. This needs a call and return in here, so I need to actually put in another another sin. Like I was talking about before, and now it's time to do it.
It's too thick. Whoops. I actually don't like extending it that much. make this work with the harmony. <laughs> I don't think that bend is going to work. That's going to be the the main the main riff that goes off throughout the song. Like that's the return to the freaking heavy riff.
Man, I messed up the rhythm. Let's get some drums going. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's solo, that's why. I'm like, why can't I hear anything? Let's get some more loopage going here. All right, let's, That's let's cool. actually take some. No. I'm thinking about curves. I'm trying to figure out why these curves aren't exporting. I want this one. Well, I want the curve that these guys are made of, right? The negative space. I want that. I guess that's not hard to make. But you should just be able to copy and paste curves. And you can't. You can create from an illustration object. Whatever that is. Well, my, um... Huh? Oh, wait, you, you put the Todd Lock thing in on it, too? That looks good. I like the cutter. Oh, uh, this? Yeah, doesn't that look good? It's, um... I'm gonna I'm gonna change up I'm gonna start changing up the string frames. Like I like what we had. But like small window kinda led the way in setting up a style. I wanna do something about other frames. I think this looks alright. It's good in there. Like power block kinda files this follows the style guide, sort of, kind of. Yeah. But like, a little help doesn't even have a frame. Maybe we should make one for that. Make an icon, a logo for that. But what, what should it be? A little help. Like a tiny question mark? I mean, I don't know, man. Like, or I like a... Frame what frame is well, what is help like? Like the red cross is a pretty widely accepted help symbol. You know, I'm not opposed to that. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, let's try something like this. I'm gonna mute our display here. Um, Anchor point, this guy and that guy. I want to move them. Oh, can I make a new pass point? Do that. Like that. Right? And I'm going to take this guy and this guy and move them over. Like that, right? You follow me? I want 
to make a plus sign. What? No, screw that. Why would I do that? Easy. Quick. We were talking to the wrong guy. Nice. That is my tutorial on how to make the IGN logo. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're right. I think you're right. Nah, it's pretty close, though. <laughs> anyway, I had, no, 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 but I don't want it to be separated. See, here's the, here's the thing. Follow me on this one, right? going is bad. Oh, that's only kind of embarrassing. Let's um, make this like bigger than one point. And then like, for the fills, right? Like, let's do our, let's do our green help and our red help. Like, if we can help you with medical stuff. I'm not a doctor. And then like, our orange help. And then whatever. Yeah? Yeah? It's not a bad logo. It's not a great logo. The, the, the saturation's all over the planet. It looks like garbage. But <laughs> it's a start. <laughs> and it's not the IGN logo. <laughs> it's probably better, actually. Do we have letters on this? I'm thinking, I think really we should, we should just do a College of Alchemy logo. One more time. No, not a clue. Oh, wow. Where is this? 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 This type's been around since like 1993. This is like the banner, instant banner for my, for my, <laughs> for my, for my GeoCities page website. Oh, God. Fancy letters. <laughs> Angels and demons. Hey, let's make up some stuff. Let's see if we can get something weak on there. The name of our Tuesday block. Oh, wow. These are profound. They're like, there you go. too many letters. What's you working on, Ben? Uh, we're messing with College of Alchemy logo stuff. Nice. I'm trying to figure out what to do with a little help, because they don't have a logo. They need help. So we're talking they about need a little help, yeah. crossing and red crossing. That looks kind of weird, though. Who says it's not? And where is the tiger? So, you know. We're open to ideas. I don't watch the show, actually. Um, that's more interesting. <laughs> Ah, the stream that goes on for long Simple enough. I see, I see. I don't know. I don't hate that idea. But where is it? Let's see. Maybe something like this?
Nice. We have a cool little rhythm started here. Now let's just put some delay on here. Show you above that back eye. I don't hate this. I like uh, kind of where this is going, actually. Ah. That it looks like ping pong. It looks like a weird. What's it called? Like a Goodwill logo or something like that. But I actually don't, don't mind it at all. I think it's kind of good. Also an interesting idea. it out for me and you kind of just like cool you spit out text um i guess that's cool because it's like a cosine uh over adjacent it's like a not, it's like a bad that's a rockstar academy that's a show in there people generally around with these points as well. So you give that VA. Kind of like this effect over here where they all are the same size, but they're obstructing each other.
Buddy was saying, I like how green it is. I agree. I think we are. Ooh, I should say experience. it. Um, but we're getting there. Oh, it looks kind of like two sets of a ribbon. Looks kind of neat. Hmm. And then you take these guys. Well, it's your birthday. Let's make this bold. And maybe not Myriad Pro, something with the whoa. That kind of space age. for College of Alchemy. Do it. I'm glad we did that. Um, maybe not the NASA text, huh? Maybe not. I like that look. I kind of like ribbons, you know? Looks like it's a neat manner. Like you can kind of say that. No? You don't care. I like that. <laughs> Whoops.
Perfect.
need to change that lead. That's messy. enveloping. And then it goes back to this. Except 
accept it'll be faster.
That's how you do a vinyl scratch without having vinyl scratch plugins. Because I don't have any installed right now. I gotta do something about that lead. What time is it? Oh, it's seven already. Well, we got a late start. People liking stuff so far? What do you think? What do you think? This is a pretty groovy track. Not bad for like literally having it in a dream and coming to work and then making it. That's I, I really like my job like a lot. <laughs>
I gotta build up there more. that groove let's 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 do something with that Too much bass. Uh, uh, uh.
massive come to me we have so many tracks already oh my god Alright, let's get some freaking strings in here. Hang on. Da -da -dum, da -da -dum. Plugins. Contact. Finally, something that isn't massive FM8 or serum or battery. Uh, let's go with... 8DO. I'm gonna load in... I'm gonna load in 8DO, Adagiato, Instruments, Ensemble, Shorts. And spicato. Sorry, I gotta teach myself how to play each of these pat patterns as I go because I'm writing it for the first time, so. And I only ever have to play it once. Isn't that the kicker? Because I could just do this. A. I need this to be slightly faster. Whoops.
another contact with some strings in her.
I made a bad harmony there. Time for this lead to go. I mean, piano sound.
That needs to sound way more epic. I need some more pads in there. over the place. I also need this to be way faster. Starting up.
can't get the right uh, length. How long I want to hold this note down? Here. Contact on here and throw some freaking orchestra up. Yeah. Dong. Dong dong. Okay, we have. Yeah, yeah. I don't want that brass though. That's all brass. That's exactly what I didn't want. Thank you. Oh, come on. Oh, no trombone. No. We could go with the brass in here. No, it sounds kind of gross. Let's see if I can have string ensemble by it. That's what I want. Tom's going coo -coo -coo, coo -coo 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 -coo. you know freaking ultra 90s rompler style Jesse singing. La 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 la. That's right in her range too. Let's double this. Sorry, I keep wanting to listen to the whole thing, but I want to. I want to get texture going right now. cellos and bass in the back uh, uh, on the bottom end Do not save changes. Hello. Gotta be careful how you play these because the attacks overlap a little bit.
Yeah, let's lay down some strings. I'm not. I'm using strings very sparingly in Neuron because it's largely cyberpunk, but that makes it all the better when you have occasional real instruments playing in the background. We could probably get real cello players eventually. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. No, uh, I'm gonna pedal it the whole way.
let's make another synth track. And then I'm gonna have a fading up filtery kind of zhip in there, so check this out. Then we have more strings up here, if I can find them, they're somewhere. Oh, that's cool. Now I need to have a reverse symbol or hit of some kind. Okay, let's see. This is still way too basic. I gotta get rid of that. actually Thank you. 
Uh, well, that before it goes, this is going to be a long one. This is going to be um, when they are getting ready to fight the the uh, the CSP Corporation. When they're getting ready to overtake the uh, the city. Okay. This is the revenge drive. Yeah, but it's going to get way more aggressive. This is, I'm just laying out the basics right now. Word. Like, it's going to... Like we're gonna have it absolutely go fucking crazy. Like when they start like full on attacking, like this is gonna be the sort of like the cinematic intro mm. for it. When they're when she's singing, she's gonna you know make it really like it's gonna get more dynamic from super down low and and calm, and it's gonna build into this absolutely insane. It's gonna go into a bridge and just fucking go nuts. Like, this is where we go absolutely insane in this. Like, like we're gonna do one more chorus and then, like, I think, I think after the chorus, like, is, is when we're gonna start to heavily. We can have like thumper style like lights coming out like uh, laser. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like walls coming in and as they're like running past it. It's gonna be a, a very like time to the music centric uh action scene. Alright. And I'm gonna keep taking it over the top with, you know, with electronic percussion over over everything, just like have that like the the freaking the constant drive. Yes. Dude. And so, yeah. Right now is the sort of laid back, uh, laid back rhythm part. I love that I call this laid back. <laughs> it reminds me of like UN Squadron, kind of like uh, like Project Seven base, right? Yeah. Just like that. This string lead, I think, really just gives me gives me that feel. Gives me that that sensation of like, all right. Yeah. You guys, play play UN Squadron. Or it's Project Eighty Eight base or whatever. It's the I know, Project 88 is a good Area 88. Thing. Area 88. Yes. I gotta, I gotta balance oh, everything out. Cool. Who's activating the magic cabinet? Locked, ready to go. <laughs> Let's do this. Uh, for the city. Come this far. Deactivate the core. Yeah, you got it. Oh yeah. It's <laughs> pretty wild. I want to see mean, what this like is the lead is. Should we sing here? Na na na. QGKL thing. Yeah. It's gonna be crazy. Me, me, me. Me. We didn't know how bad it was. Yeah. So we, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forehead can for life.
We're here now. We made it all the way. What are we gonna do now? We're gonna win for humanity. Like, you know, it's gonna be like, we have uh, script ideas written out and right. I'm totally aping it right now, but yeah, <laughs> Jesse's been working really hard on getting the plot developed so that it will actually like, you know, make you feel something. Hit you right in the feels. What do you think of, uh, what do you feel about this College of Alchemy logo? Pharrell adds Kofa. Yeah. I like it. I don't know, because I was trying to do a little help logo and I kind of got sidetracked. I was talking to Matt about it a few minutes ago. And I have this thing that I kind of like. Like it reads from kind of a distance. But I don't know. It, it's eh, eh, meh. It's meh right now. I feel it's like getting there. Yeah. I like the coat of arms idea. Yeah. I think maybe ditch the pixel font because it's kind of played out. That's true. It, and just, it was the first thing that spoke to me after the NASA font. I was like, NASA? Ooh, NES. Yeah. <laughs> something, something. There's so much text, though. It official has to be looking, you know? I think if I can get away with maybe even doing it without text. Maybe make the R A A L H less readable, like in a cursive font of some kind. Oh, I see. So it looks a little bit more like heraldry and a little bit less like. Like cheese sorcery. Yeah. No, I agree. I, there's something. I like the banner idea, definitely. I don't know. It was an accident, so it's on the right path. I don't know. We've been we've uh, we've made up for the stream. Yeah. How are we doing? Done. We gotta eat dinner, dude. We got some stuff done. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Let's, uh, meet me at the couch. We ready to we ready to shut this puppy down? I mean, we could do it from here. We have this crazy four way split. That was my big achievement of the You're day. You're a crazy four way split. Me and Yo, Robbie. this this looks fantastic. I'm yeah. really really happy to have that. I like this this weird color scheme. It reminds me of an old computer, like that yellow like tan plastic. Right. So in what was it? Three hours ish. Yeah. I mean, we started at four to five, five to six, six is what? Did we do this before? Are we already... What? Wait, no, when did no, I get in on. here and say hi? I don't know. When did we start? Anyway, point is, <laughs> we got four <laughs> minutes of music done in, in a few hours. Yeah. So I'm pretty happy with how that how this is turning out so far. And of course, I've copy-pasted a lot of stuff, and everything's going to be unique by the time it's done. I'm just laying out the building blocks and just getting everything... Getting everything... The pacing of the song, you know, like we're going to a bridge after this, like... I want to check out the VOD and see the difference between, like, the initial sketch where you just had the one massive patch yeah. even now. Like, I think that's a really big thing yeah. to... Everything's stacked up right now, and it, you know, I get the good epic sound going, but it's, uh, there's still a lot to do on that. Yeah. Um, but I have to get working on Secret Project, because go to Secret Project tomorrow. Good. So. Let's go to Secret Noodle. Hey! And I want to I wanna try to get out of here before, like, 4 in the morning. Hey! Don't we all? Because we got a small <laughs> window tomorrow. I'm ready. Are you ready? I am not ready. I Okay. Well but I am. You should get ready. Uh, Matt, help me shut this thing down, yo. Okay. Let's call it. Where'd Robbie go? He went somewhere. Scrub! His wife came around and used the bathroom and everything. Scrub. Scrub is sore. It's Rex. That's true. This, this is true. Like, it looks good huge, but it's not going to look good tiny. I got rid of that typeface. What? <laughs> Forehead camera, activate. I stood up too fast, and now nice. I'm gonna fall over. Uh, let's see. <sighs> da -da 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 -da. And you, and you, and you, and you. Ralat Kofa. Just wrangle some text. Whoa, that's weak. How about a script? Oh, I calculator. can't tell you how much I hate outlines around text that has spaces in it. Depends on the text. For me, at least. Uh, oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, so let's just yeah, do wing that. Dings. Yeah, wingdings. Yeah. Wingdings. Webdings. Just do it all in emoji. Uh, oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, we need you to help us off the internet. We need to get off the internet. What? Dude, I'm not talking about this. I don't want to hold anything. What do you hold the alt key. Why? Hold the alt key. Hold what the alt key. What are you helping me with? Hold the alt key and hit and hit F4. Oh my God. Hit F4 uh, right can now. You, can you please try cast this? <laughs> I know where you're oh, going with this. I just I've like I've put your balls on the alt key and then put the tip on the F4. 
I've played, I've played. <laughs> Wh like which alt? <laughs> which alt are we talking about? Yes, it is. Uh, Wing of Dings is good. Alt gray? Yeah. I need you to, to sign us off. Say goodbye. Please. Please. Yeah, we got a, we're done. We got a GTFO. We Seriously. worked for a while today and then now. Hi, get now, out of here. Now I got to go to my other job that is also here. I'm excited. Yeah. Anyway, what are we doing tomorrow? Small window. Christina V is going to be here. Thank you for restreaming us. Thank you for streaming with us, hanging with us today. Hell yeah. I don't know. I, I don't feel like I said a lot. I just feel like I got a lot of stuff done, which is good. Yeah, I barely sure. talked at all while I was working on this stuff because I was just driven. I was just like, I know exactly what I have to get out of my head. Yes. And it just has to happen as quickly as possible. But yeah, that I'm chord progression. Kill that I woke board. up and that whole thing was in my head. Like, yeah. I was just like, I have to get to work and I have to make this happen. Otherwise, I'll be sad. Well, you don't look sad, so you must have done it. I'm really sad. <laughs> <laughs> now I got to go to my, my other job and write more music as fast as I possibly can. I like it. So that we have, what, like 12 minutes of stuff done for tomorrow. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, thanks for digging us. Yeah. Thanks for streaming with us. Thanks so much. This is a this is a fun time, and everybody keeps keeps us hyped up while we're going, and uh, we shall return every single week, every Wednesday, every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We're on the air. It's pretty fun. Yeah. I'm sorry. Join us really any like day of week, pretty much. Woo. Ah. All right. Signing off. Peace. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>